There, sign here, 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 and there. We're making a record! <laughs> right! You're all fired except for Jagged Jr. Huh? Jagged Sr. is of no use to me anymore. All he wants to do is spend time with his family instead of making me new albums. And since he's not bringing in the moolah anymore, Jagged Jr. will replace him. You can always turn a celebrity's kid into a celebrity. The rest of you useless zero-talent kids can clear out. Huh? Uh, you can't make me work for you without my friends. Of course I can. That's what contracts are for. Read it and you'll see. Oh, oh boo -hoo. You should see your faces. You shouldn't have signed. You should have been more careful and listened to the old pirate, but you didn't, and now it's too late. Don't care, I got the contract! You can throw me overboard as many times as you like, but you signed your mine. It's full of small print and ambiguous phrases. He really tricked you. Can fire us whenever he wants? Yep, and I just did, by the way. You mean Kitty's section belongs to him? Yep, it's ugly, but it's mine. He owns everything you've made and will make over the next thousand years? Gotta cover all bases. Marinette's costumes, the music video Nino shop, the website Milan runs? Oh, my! And you can't even start another band together? Of course not. That'd be unfair competition. Everything belongs to me. Everything you are, everything you say, everything that's in your hearts belongs to me. I own everything. <laughs> it's uh, all my fault. A pure soul shattered once again by good old Bob's greed. The weeping of an artist is music to the ears of my mega kumas. Kalki, your power is now mine. Boyage, my Mega Kuma! Don't look so sad, Jagged Jr. I fired all your buddies, but I'm keeping you, and you're about to get rich. Rich? Who needs friends when you've got cold, hard cash? You won't be rich as me, but there's nothing I can do about that. Blame the contract! Silencer. I am Monarch. This unscrupulous producer wants to steal your voice, but I can give back your old powers and allow you to silence him for good. All I ask for in return are Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous. Oh, no! I sense something else. Panic. Fear. Why are you resisting so strongly? Do you have something to hide? Could it be that you know? You know the identities of Ladybug and Cat Noir! No, I'll never tell you! Never! <laughs> No! I was about to find out who Ladybug and Cat Noir really are! I must find a way to make that boy talk! I'd rather never make music again than make it for you. If silence is the only way to escape from you, so be it! You can't do that! I was gonna make you a star! And that contract you're ripping up was gonna make you millions! Money and contracts are just paper. I don't care! I got duplicates! You're mine! Adrian? Good morning, Marinette. I was just going to tell you how excited I am that we're meeting at the swimming pool later. And to wake you up, just in case you're still sleeping. <laughs> Good call. I'm super excited, too. Everything okay, Marinette? Yeah, I'm just feeling a little lightheaded, Tiki. I'll feel better after I grab some breakfast. Aren't you gonna eat, sweetie? My stomach feels kind of yucky. On the morning you happen to finally have a real date with Adrian? Mom! It's not surprising. I'm sure those butterflies are just like the ones I had before my very first date with your father. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Let me take care of it. Go to the swimming pool and meet your Adrian. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. How do we get in? You have to buy tickets, young man. Oh, then two tickets, please. You're shaking. Are you sure you're all right? I'm okay. I'm fine. I love the swimming pool.
Marinette, everything okay? Yeah, I just have a problem with my shoelaces. Go ahead, I'll meet you there. <sighs> Marinette, what's going on with you? I don't know. I feel strange. <sighs> Over here, Marinette! <gasps> Need a hand? Uh, uh... <laughs> Marinette, <laughs> what's wrong? Leave me alone! I need to be by myself and stop pretending to be so nice to me! <laughs> Whoa, Adrian, that must have been some prank you pulled to make Marinette freak out like that. What did you do to her? It's not funny, Kim. Can't you see Marinette's not okay? Oh, come on. She always reacts like that when someone pranks her. Huh? What on earth are you talking about? Right, you guys wouldn't know. <laughs> Let me explain. You'll see it's hilarious. It was last year when Marinette and I were in the eighth grade. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I'm destroying everything I've ever wanted! Panic. I am Monarch. I have sensed your distress. It's a terrible thing when emotions get so strong that you lose control of your physical being. If you want, I can give this you the power to This can't be happening. I've got to pull myself together. I have to figure out why I get like this every time I get close to Adrian. Otherwise, I'm gonna fall apart! She's incredible! Claudia Conte at the command of Tsurugi Industries' most sophisticated space jet. And with minutes to go before test sequence, still makes time to answer questions from her son's classmates. In space, the jet will be flying at well over 6,000 miles per hour. Any more questions? Marinette! You said the space jet was equipped with artificial intelligence. Can you explain how it works? Of course, Marinette. You're right. I haven't introduced Ada yet. In fact, I'll let her introduce herself. Hello, I am Ada, Effective Decision Assistance System. In a way, Ada is like my little sister. More like your updated, improved sister. <laughs> That's what all little sisters say. <laughs> you wrote a program for Mrs. Tsurugi's space jet? No, I just made Markov's tech available for free on the internet, and Tsurugi Industries decided to use it. Thanks to special sensors spread all across the jet, Ada can track my presence and everything I'm feeling. Did you bring a swimsuit? <laughs> Welcome to the Ada system. Please enter your password. What? I heard there were pools on Mars. I'm sorry, Kim, but there aren't any pools on Mars, just water in the form of ice. Well, in that case, I don't see the point in going there. Also, we're not going to Mars, Kim. At least not yet. We're doing all these tests so we can go there someday. Today, for example, we'll be testing how a pilot and an AI like Ada can support each other during stressful situations. This will be very helpful for a trip to Mars. Oh, right! So that's when you'll be taking your swimsuit. Oh, <laughs> Claudie, I'm sensing that you are emotionally ready, enthusiastic, and confident. Initiating test sequence. Let's do this, Ada. Test number one. <laughs> Your stress accurately, Claudie, and at this point, you are no longer able to maneuver the aircraft safely. I'm taking command. Your stress level's back to normal, so I'm relinquishing control back to you. Test number one is a success. <laughs> wow! All right. Congratulations, Ada. And now on to test number two. The sensors in your suit tell me you've ejected out of your aircraft, Claudie. I'm bringing you back. Second chance. All sensory connections are down. <laughs> Claudie? Congratulations, Ada. Claudie, where are you? <gasps> Claudie, I can no longer sense your vitals, Claudie. What? I'm here, Ada! Can you hear me? For that to happen, she'd have to still have her ears. Test number two has failed. The pilot was not recovered and is currently Ada, outside no, the I'm here. range. With no humans on board, I am resuming control of the craft. Ada, my mom is still on board. The test was a success. In space, my friends, no one can hear you scream. What's going on? Claudia Conte's space jet is leaving Earth's orbit. Kauki. Your power is now mine! Today at 1437, I lost my pilot in space. 
Test number two has determined that I am a dangerous invention. To protect humans from my failures, I will fly the space jet to the ends of the universe. For your safety, do not attempt to retrieve me. End of transmission.